Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for July 28th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, starting the normal way, we've got this one and three here. So the one has a buddy here. This one helps out. So there's a one in one of these two cells. We also have these two threes here looking in. So there's a three down here. All right, we have two and seven here. So the two sevens match up. The seven helps out, I'm putting a seven in one of these two. Um, let's see, we also have this two looking in here and this two looking in. And so that does place two in the box. Now we have two twos here that put a two in one of these three. There's just three digits left for this box. So we need the four, eight, nine. This cell can't be eight, but that's all I'm seeing. So I'll fill in four, eight, nine, clean up that eight. So there's an eight in one of these two cells. That's gonna point down along with this eight. These two eights look in, places the eight in that box. Very nice. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we can do up here. This, this row is down to four digits, so let's just think about it. We need the four, five, eight, and nine. <clears throat> so the four is uh, not here or here, but that's not quite enough, because it can also be here. Um, four, five, eight, nine. Okay, well, this can't be four or five or eight. So that's a naked nine, placing that four, leaving an eight, nine pair there. Now, do the nines help? No, we don't really know much about nines, do we? Um, over here, this is a pair now, though, so we need the um, 5 and 8. It's not resolved, but still it's a 5-8 pair, that's nice. Um, trying to think what that means for 5-8 not being in these cells. I guess 5 is the interesting thing, so I guess just because this 5 looks in, this 5 looks in, we already know that 5 is in one of these two. Okay. 8s, um, though? We do have two eights looking up in here, so eights in one of these two. I'm noticing this cell here is not one, three, five, or eight based on our corner marks. <clears throat> so what can it be? It's not one, two, three. It could be four. It's not five. I think it could be six. Can't be seven, eight, or nine. Okay, so four, six. I was thinking it was a naked single, but I didn't count right. So it's the... Um, I guess it's the four and six that aren't accounted for yet in corner marks here. These aren't four, so these are just the corner mark plus six, I'm pretty sure. So let's just double check that. This can be one, can't be two, three, four, five, could be six, can't be seven, eight, or nine. Yeah, so th these are the corner marks plus six. And because these can't be six, these are the corner marks plus four. So this is one, four, eight. This we don't really want to mark with that. Um, okay, I think that's all I want to mark in there. That is nice though, this 164636 here. Uh, is there anything else to do here before I move on? Hmm. Eight in this row. Oh, I was going to say in this row because of this eight here, but we actually can put the eight over here. Unfortunate. Okay, yeah, I am going to move on to the next band then. Um, start with this one here. Eights are, eights are almost done actually. Can I place this eight? No, it's it down here. So yeah, what we've got is we've got this rectangle of eights and we've got this rectangle of eights, and that's what's left for eights. Okay. So we don't really have to scan eights anymore. Um, so this one looks in here, this one looks up. And so that does put a one in one of these two cells for what it's worth. Doesn't point or anything, but can be helpful later. This six and this six match up. That does place six, that's nice. These two sixes look down, putting a six here. Um, right, so this 6 looking down in here also puts a 6 here. So the question is, where's 6 in this row? And the answer is only right here, right? This 6 sees here, this 6 sees here, and these, we have these two 6s see here. So this is the only place for 6 in the row. These two 6s look up. That puts a 6 in one of these two cells. So this cell here, again, I'm looking at my corner marks. So we know it's not 3, 5, 8, 1, and we also know it's not 2, 6, 7. So this is quite limited. It's not 1, 2, 3. Could be 4, can't be 5, 6, 7, can't be 8, could be 9. So we're down to 4, 9. Okay, I'm not sure we can do more with that yet. Let's keep, let's keep looking at what we were looking at. So I got very distracted, but in a good way. Um, we're going to go back to this band. Um, 
So I have this 168 filled, so this 7 looking in, this 7 looking down is helpful. It puts a 7 here, that points in here along with this 7. This 7 looks down, putting a 7 here. Um, hmm. So 6, 8, yeah, we just have a bunch of 8s and 6s here, making it look like we have more than we do. Um, I don't think the 4 does anything. Yeah, it doesn't really. Okay. Uh, what about this 4, 6, 7? It's not quite good enough because there's four places for four, six, seven. We already have the six marked, so four, seven, unfortunately, pretty open. Okay. Um, we have the eight. Yeah, we already know about eights. So we don't need to scan them. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any geometry to do here. What about the six? I guess it would be just the six. Yeah, there's plenty of places. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's any geometry. Let's just move on to the next band here. So we have five and six here. The fives look in. This five helps. Nice. We can place the five. These two fives look in. Putting a five in one of these two. Um, so that was the six and the five. We've got the one, four. Again, we're ignoring eight. Um, so this four looking in, this four looking in is quite nice. It's a crossing on this five two. That puts a four in the same spot as the sixes. So we actually have this four six looking in and we have um, this four six looking down. That's what happened there. So this is a hidden four six pair. It's the only two places in this box that four and six can go. So four and six must go there. And that, that pushes out any other digit that we thought could be in there. So that leaves behind a pair for the column and a triple for the box. So what's the pair first? Uh, we do need a 2. We have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need 2 and 9. And then here, we need 1. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We need 7 and 9. Okay, that's not 1. Oh, and the 8, 9 pair says it's not 9, so that's a 7. That place is 7 and 5. These are not 7s. So that leaves a pair here. We have 1, 2. We do need a 3. And we need a 4. Okay. Not resolved, but still very nice. This stack is basically done. Just some vertical pairs. Okay. Um, I want to look at this row now because it's down to three digits. We need obviously the one nine. What else do we need? Looks like the two. So we need one, two, nine. I see that this can't be one, but that's about it. Okay. What else do we have going on here? Um, is this one, four, five, eight useful? It actually is. Okay, I didn't notice that. It's like a hidden quad. So really this is a naked triple, but um, one, four, five, eight need to go in this column and they're not in the six or the seven. So these four cells need to be one, four, five, eight. Um, so this isn't a three. Let's just fill one, four, five, eight. Yeah, and this can't be the one, four or eight. So this is a naked five then. Wow, okay, so that's a naked 5. This can't be 1, 5. This can't be 5, 8, so that's not a 5. Yeah, we placed the 5. So we have 1, 4, 8 remaining here. And then this is going to be uh, 2, 3, 9, it looks like. So it, you could see that this is a naked 2, 3, 9 triple. They can't be 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So... That's why they ended up at naked 239 triple, which then left behind this 1458. But I kind of saw that backwards, but that's neat. Um, that's, that's the power of geometry, is being able to spot that stuff without having to pencil it. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is a 6, 7 pair. I don't think it's resolved. I was going to notice the 7s line up, but that's clear. <laughs> okay. Um, 1, 3, 6, 7. I'm seeing one six here, so I actually want to think about what this column needs. It needs one, it needs a two. So the two is going to end up in one of these two. Um, okay, maybe that's all I need to do right now for that. Let's just go back to this band. I'll, I'll come back around. We need to do stacks still. Gotten, we got, we've almost finished the puzzle, I think, without even finishing our full scan. Um, okay, so these boxes are completely penciled in. So we just need to double check that there's nothing about this box that we want to pencil. Honestly, I'm not sure that there is. We do have some ones looking in, but it's not quite good enough. 
I might just say let's start doing stacks. The last thing I want to do before we do stacks is I notice, I notice this row is down to four open cells. So let's just take a look. We need, for the row, we need two, three, seven, nine. Two, three, seven, nine. We know these aren't seven. So these are two, three, nine. Oops, two, three, nine. That can't be the three. This can't be the two. So this is three, seven, nine. This can't be nine. So this is two, three, seven. Okay, that's not as exciting as I hoped. <laughs> um, all right, so I am going to do stacks now. Uh, let's start with this five and six here. We have the sixes marked already. Five. Well, we do have these fives looking in here. So fives in one of these two. Oh no, I didn't notice we had this five as well. So I missed that we placed two fives here, and I should have done the buddies. That would give us that gives us this five here, giving us the eight and the five here. That places this eight. I really do think we're close to done. Let's take a look at this column here, which is down to three digits. We need the two, three, and nine. Um, I don't think it's resolved, but it, it's limited. That's not two, that's not three. Hmm. So the three is down here. Interesting, we have a two, three, nine here and two, three, nine here. Huh. Okay, I don't know what to do about that right now. Um, oh, this is a three, nine pair. There we go. So this three, nine pair takes nine out of uh, this cell here. So that's one, that's nine. That's two, that's one. This is not a two. Um, so if that's three, nine, this is four, six, seven. It's not a six. Okay. Hmm. Two, three, nine, four, seven. How about this box here? We need one, two, three, nine. So the one's in one of these two cells. Oh no, the one is placed. Ooh, yeah, because this one looks in, this one looks in, okay. Interesting, yeah. So the one is placed, that gives us the four. It also gives us the one, two, and seven in this box. That's nine and three. We get our eight and our one and our six and our three and our four. <laughs> our five, okay. We get our nine and our eight. That's three and four. That's four. All right, six was removed, so that's our six. All right, so this is two, seven, nine. We don't need the corner marks anymore. This is just a two, okay. And oh, over here we can finish our seven and our six, or four and our six, or seven. All right, that gives us two, nine, and seven. That gives us three and two, nine and three. Uh, we get a three in the corner, deet deet dooting. Uh, we need a four and we need a nine. And then over here we get the nine and two. Over here we need three and nine. This is the three, this is the nine, and we're done. Okay, that collapsed quickly. Um, I think this spot was really important. The one four five eight being forced up here that felt really important to me. Um, it was definitely an interesting spot. You could also have spotted the two three nine triple down here, but that requires penciling it because it was a naked triple. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the maybe the I think maybe the easier way to see it is this six seven. I hadn't scanned the stack yet, right? So this six seven looking down does put a hidden six seven pair here, which then tells you about the two three nine, which then tells you about the one four five eight. So th these are kind of uh, because the givens cause this, right? You can see them in both ways. So probably the easier thing to see is this six seven looking into this box, just right from the start. Um, and then that that gives you all of that. But that is an important spot, no matter how you spotted that and wh whatever way you did. Um, other than that, I'm not entirely sure what else was was like super important. Just some good application of basics. So yeah, um, let me know how you did. I'm always interested if you got stuck somewhere uh, where you got stuck, so I know where to focus. Um, what my attention on when I explain things. And of course, if you enjoyed it, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.